Welcome back to Anarchy in the Ukulele with me, KD, and this, the Roadie 3 Tuner. Um, this is a little uh, gadget to help you tune your ukulele, nearly said the G word, help you tune your ukulele. Um, it does it automatically. So we're going to get into a review on this now. Um, so the Roadie 3 is a new tuner from Rody who were the original automatic tuner company as it were and they came so obviously they had the Rody 1 the Rody 2 and they also had a base Rody the Rody 3 is a new product it's been out sort of about a year and it's does the same job as the other products but they've gradually improved them over time and they've made it smaller which that's the kind of the big thing with this sort of the the grip of it is much better than the other designs which were sort of gun shape almost but you always found you're having to sort of twist your hand around in weird directions this you can kind of grip in the palm of your hand hold it nice and steady while it's tuning the other improvement it has is the led screen which is now full colored screen and you've got all your menu options and all your settings so you can do practically everything that you need to all from that screen but it does also attach to an app on your phone and you can do some fine editing on there. Things like typing names for tunings and stuff like that is probably easier on your phone, but you can do it all on the tuner. So you don't need the app at all. So uses for this tuner, it's great if you're a beginner. Now there's two sides to that because if you're a beginner, you do need to learn how to tune your ukulele and why to tune your ukulele a certain way and how it all works. And this can do that, but it also could make you a little bit lazy and you just use this and ignore what the screen's saying and wait for the little beep. Um, but it is good for a beginner because your ukulele is going to be perfectly in tune every time you use it. And for lots of beginners, it's not. And it just, it becomes a habit. Pick this up, pop it on. If you're playing in a group, it's quite easy. You can actually turn the sound off this so it just vibrates so that other people can't kind of hear when you're tuning. Um, that makes it a little bit easier. So for a beginner, it's really good. Useful on stage for some of those same reasons that um, you, know, you can just pick it up, mute your ukulele, pop it on, tune while you're chatting without, as any, if you've been at a gig where, you know, you have to tune and you have to talk to the audience at the same time, it's always a bit awkward. It's always, you always get that thing where your concentration, you can't concentrate on the two things at once. With this, it's very easy to just pop it on a tuning peg, pluck a string while you're talking to the audience and put your ukulele in tune. So really good at a gig. Um, recording studio which is really why we've had a couple of these. Um, it's brilliant because not to say that I don't always trust artists that are in the studio recording, name and no names, Paul Mantle, but <laughs> um, give them one of these, they tune up perfectly every time and it also they kind of also like the gadgetry of it as well so they're willing to tune much more often so when we're in the recording studio and we say you've got to tune between every take a lot of artists don't see that and they put their snark on and they play and they say yeah it's still in tune still in tune um i know that if they put this on then 100 percent they're going to be in tune for the next take so really good for that and uh, it's really quick to tune as well as we saw at the beginning so it really doesn't take any time or effort. So reasons for having it, that, um, does it do the same job as every other tuner? Well, yes, it gets your ukulele in tune. I guess it's it's the fact it's automatic, the fact that it takes you out of the equation. You're not looking at the dial necessarily. You're not turning the peg. You're not having to, you know, some ukulele is harder to tune than others. Um, sometimes the pegs are looser than others and movements, you have to really slow your movements down. This is doing all that work for you. The Rody 3 is very easy to use. You just place it on your ukulele's tuning peg 
plug the string and let the roadie 3 do the rest. It has lots of built-in instruments to choose from and includes standard GCEA ukulele tuning and baritone DAGE tuning. You can also program custom tuning for any tuning you like. Just, as you can see, we just tuned the ukulele up there. It doesn't zip to the note straight away. It kind of, sometimes it goes past it and has to come back down. Um, it, it takes its time basically, and sometimes you think, oh, it's just getting it wrong. And I suppose technically it is, but it gets there in the end. Um, and I think that was worth showing because lots of review videos just show the cut of you putting this on and tuning straight to the note, which sometimes it does. And the video at the beginning of this was pretty much like that. Um, but sometimes it also, and different ukuleles, different instruments can take longer to find the note, but it finds it in the end. So you're waiting for that beep for it to let you know that it's fully in tune. One of the major upgrades to the Rode 3 is the enhanced noise immunity, which basically means that you can use this in noisy environments. Um, and that is one of the major pluses for me, if not the major plus as a gigging musician. As a recording musician, the major plus is the accuracy and the ease of use. But as a gigging musician, it's the fact that you can use this on stage. You can use this when you've got other guitars playing, other instruments playing. I mean, technically, you could use it in the middle of a song if you really had to, and it would tune up. There's not many tuners that I've found that are like that. Even some of the ones that kind of say that, um, and the headstock tuners, they always get affected by ambient noise and noisy environments. This one really doesn't, and they've improved the quality of that on this third version so that it really doesn't uh, really doesn't affect it at all the built-in vibration sensor provides a highly accurate tuning regardless of ambient noise ensuring your instrument is perfectly tuned every time The manufacturer states that the rechargeable battery is capable of tuning up to 150 strings on a single charge, which is more than enough for most use cases. gonna play next to me playing tune <laughs> the roadie it also includes a metronome if we can go back there so we have our tuner setting we scroll down we have a metronome setting and we have a string winder setting um, so metronome as you would use any other metronome Ooh, straight on um, vibrates and beeps you change the speed you scroll down change the speed to whatever you like and I believe if we go into there we can change how many beats are in the bar and we can go three beats we can have a waltz four beats five beats six beats and what it goes up to seven eight nine it appears to keep going 16 16 beats in the bar i don't know any pieces of 16 beats in the bar and then the string winder um which is a good function um i've heard people say like this is the one of the outstanding features of the roadie um, it's not for me, because I don't find it that hard to unwind and wind strings <laughs> anyway. And I've only recently just had one of the plastic winders, because I always just used to do it by hand. But I guess if you're doing a lot of string changes, you can go to the winder there and pop it on a string. And you should be able to press down. And it's just slowly going to unwind the string. Um, if you go up. We're going to tighten the string, and if you really speed up, you go really tight. 
Um, yeah, it's quite good. If you were changing a lot of strings, if you had a bunch of ukuleles to change all in one go, I kind of would use that. I don't know if I'd use it on a regular basis. Um, it really can go quite fast, so you've probably got to be a bit careful with those settings. And there's a whole bunch of settings in there. Um, tune up. So this is currently disabled, which is as it came. And I was a, this was one of the faults I was going to raise until I found it in the settings. So I'm going to change that now. What that means is it will only ever tune up to a note. Whereas in its default setting, it was tuning up and down to a note. If you tune down, you can lose tuning stability, so it can go out of tune quicker because it slips. Um, so if we now tune that first string that we've just been messing around with, tuner, I've got all these instruments set on here. I've got acoustic guitars, electric guitar, bass guitar, baritone ukulele, and u standard ukulele. You can put it in high G or low G for standard as well as all of those options are in the settings. So, it's only going to tune up to the note now, which is great, that's, that's what we wanted. So, one of my criticisms isn't a criticism anymore because they've updated the software, I think, from when this first came out to include that in there. So, the Rody 3 tuner, it is, a really really good product I really like it we've had two of these we've had the bass tuner we've had this one unfortunately I am going to say the bass tuner did stop working and it was out of warranty so I couldn't get it replaced which brings me to the biggest issue I have is the price of them um, so this one was 129 pounds it's available from lots of places online you can buy from roadie direct and they sometimes do have some offers on um, Amazon have them, lots of music stores, Tommen, places like that have them. Um, it's £129, which is really, really expensive for a tuner. It Obviously, it does a lot more than your standard tuner because it's tuning your instrument for you. So it does do a lot more. There's a lot more workings in there. You've got the metronome built in there trying to add a little bit of extra value for money, I guess. The string winder function as well. But it's £129. The base one is £139, and like I say, R1 broke after around about three years of use. So, fairly expensive for it to break that quickly. Um, they've improved lots on these tuners, so that might have now improved with these, but that's what happened to us, so I think it's only fair that I say that was the case. Um, so, £129, there are alternatives to these. So there's one called now, my pronunciation, a Joe Woon, Joe Woon Smart Tuner T2, which um, on the Tom and Store, they are around about £60. They are a bit of a, they're, they're an automatic tuner. Paul's got one, so we'll hopefully we'll do a comparison uh, review, of, or we'll do a review of that, and we'll maybe do a slight comparison with this at the same time. Um, and they are kind of the gun shape, the grip shape, tuners it doesn't have all the bells and whistles of this it doesn't automatically um, change from one string to the next you have to physically change it to go onto the next string and things like that it does appear to work pretty well and that's only 60 pound compared to 130 pound for this the only other alternative i could find was actually the roadie bass tuner that we spoke about um, now as an aside to that the preloaded sounds that you preloaded instruments that you choose on this they don't include a bass instrument but when you connect to the app which i will show you there's a whole extra choice of instruments if sam can see that and bass guitar is on there and you can choose your tunings and everything else on the app you, it's very easy to if you're using a capo and things like that you can set that on here as well and um, it's probably easier on the app and so i did just try it with a bass guitar and it worked um what doesn't work very well on it is the fact that the bass guitar pegs don't fit very easily into the, the turner there whereas these are made for pretty much any size of guitar and ukulele peg that you're going to find they have little sort of steps in so if you've got very small pegs they'll fit in right in the bottom bigger pegs will fit more towards the end the guitar ones tend to be very narrow but very big a uh, bass guitar sorry um, but that did work it did work on a bass guitar so they don't advertise it as available for that, but it did put it perfectly in tune. 
So that is the Roadie 3 tuner. Um, I think great for gigging musicians, great for recording musicians. It is a fantastic tuner. It finds the note. There's occasions on certain instruments where it struggles a little bit. And it just takes its time. It takes a little bit longer. Isn't flawless. It will struggle on some instruments, but in my experience, it will always get there in the end, but it can lead to a little bit of frustration if it's not finding the note straight away, because some notes, you literally, you'll, you'll play the note and it will zap to it straight away and put it in tune. If it takes a, a ridiculous amount of time, like 10 to 15 seconds to find the note, then um, you seem to be frustrated with it. However, I would argue that if you're tuning by hand, it will probably take that amount of time anyway. So it gets there in the end, in my experience. So a really, really good tuner, an expensive tuner, worth it if you're struggling tuning. Um, we had this discussion earlier that you're not going to spend 30, 40 pound on a ukulele and 120 pound on a ukulele tuner. So it is a high end item. If you're spending an awful lot on a ukulele, it doesn't seem so much to get an expensive tuner which I've said before with the um, Peterson strobe strobo tuner um, was a, an expensive tuner I think that was around about 70 pounds would I pay the extra for this for an automatic one um, I would but only to give to other people and me have the confidence that their instrument is perfectly in tune when I'm recording them but I guess it's horses for courses whatever um, suits you it's a great product i wish it was a little bit cheaper that i guess is my um summary of the roadie 3 tuner if you like what we do we do go into as much detail as we can with these reviews um some might say rambling on or waffling on <laughs> um, but if you do like what we do please like subscribe and ring the bell and uh, we'll see you next time